What is the superior insulation? Fiberglass or foam insulation? Let's talk about it. I want to start off by saying both are adequate and reasonable options when it comes to insulating a home. Now, the simple fact is that there are pros and cons to both products. When you look at fiberglass, the most obvious pro is the cost. It's going to be much less expensive compared to foam insulation. However, when you do look at foam insulation, you really start to see that the performance of it, that the effectiveness and doing its job as an insulator is far superior than fiberglass. One other thing I want you to be thinking about is the longevity of the material. Fiberglass over time will break down and separate. The fibers that make up the fiberglass bat will start to pull apart and separate, you know, just through gravity and air movement. It will over time degrade and you will have to replace it or add to it. Whereas foam insulation is a material that is designed to, once it's installed, to be in place for the lifetime of the building. So again, when you look at longevity, there's a huge difference. Whereas fiberglass, you will have to add to, which now that cost benefit starts to go down because you're doubling your cost every you know five to seven to ten years at least just to maintain that r value that you were trying to accomplish one other thing to think about is indoor air quality and some health uh, considerations fiberglass is a very irritating material to most people in fact if you've ever touched or handled fiberglass for anything you know that it can be super itchy and it can last that way for days but the fiber materials like I said will break apart over time and that can become airborne inside your house it can work its way into your duct system and then be blown around throughout your entire home. This is something that irritates a lot of people and this is a complaint that we get from a lot of homeowners. Whereas foam insulation just doesn't have that downside. So again, that's something to consider. One strong benefit to fiberglass is the availability of it. Now foam insulation on, on a larger scale, you really have to hire a professional contractor to have them install it. Although there are versions of foam insulation you can get at most hardware stores, like can foam insulation or even froth packs to deal with very small to small to medium sized projects. So it is available, but not nearly on the scale that fiberglass is. If you truly want to do something DIY, fiberglass is going to be available at pretty much any big box hardware store. And like I said, at a very low cost. So if you were dead set on doing something yourself, fiberglass is always going to be an attractive option. Now I want to circle back to talking about the performance of fiberglass and foam insulation. As an easy comparison, I want you to think about coffee cups. Now if you've ever been somewhere and got a hot cup of coffee and you've gotten it in a paper cup, oftentimes they will give you a sleeve around that paper cup to help insulate your hand from that hot coffee. The reason is that paper cup, that fibrous material, much like fiberglass insulation, is not really good at stopping heat transfer. And if you've ever looked at that sleeve closely, it's corrugated, there's gaps, it's an airspace, and that's really what it's doing. It's creating a small airspace between that hot liquid and your hand. That is what help, helps insulate it because that paper cup doesn't do that good by itself. Now, if you look at any plain white styrofoam cup you've gotten from any gas station, you never need to put anything additional around that because the foam is that much better at stopping the heat transfer. That foam cup by itself doesn't need anything. And that's the easiest example to think about what material is good at stopping heat transfer. The same thing is with coolers. If you look at a cooler, if you ever cut one open, or if you just look at those white styrofoam coolers you can get at that same gas station, Again, that's foam insulation. If you ever cut a cooler open, you will always find foam and you are not going to find a fibrous material insulating it. And you wanna use the same principle when you think about your home. So if you want to take back control of the comfort in your home and you realize that foam insulation is the way to get that done, go to our link below, go to our find a dealer page where you can meet your local RetroFoam dealer and learn about how your home can be more comfortable today. This is the Professor of Foam reminding you that building is a science.